What's up guys, Clouded Journey here, and I'm going to be doing a bit of a live video here. More of the ghetto type videos I've been putting out lately. Uh, this is nothing short of that. If you look around, you see my sort of unclean uh, baseball glove sitting there, for example. Unclean, unkempt home. Uh, very low budget, not well edited, but... Uh, I'm hoping to make this quick. I wanted it just for the type of video it made sort of sense to do it this way. So what it's going to be is uh, a bit of a toy haul video. I'll go through a couple things I picked up uh, at the thrift store today. I feel a little bit like I'm cheating on my wife. Um, my wife being comic, my comic book collection because there's going to be no comics featured in this video. So I'm sorry guys for the guys who uh, follow me for and watch my videos for that. But... There's just not a lot of comics on the coast where I am. So when I go to thrift stores and things like that, I just very, very rarely find them out here. Now, most of what I buy comes online and stuff nowadays. So that's rough. But uh, I have been, I do a lot of thrifting nowadays just because I really like flipping stuff and making those PayPal dollars. And that helps me buy comics and things like that. So I've been doing lots of that. Um, and today I ended up, stumbling on a whole bunch of awesome vintage toys so uh had some help from like greco fabulous and johnny da costa and donkey donkey monkey bot dr monkey bot uh online they were really helpful because they know lots about toys and stuff like that um so i saw like a ghostbuster toy to start it off and uh, behind there, I saw three other bags of vintage toys. So I ended up picking up a few of them. Uh, I haven't done a lot of research yet. I'm just going to go through what I got here and show them off. And you guys can comment and tell me what I got if you want. I know some of it and some I don't. Um, so let's reach into the bag of goods. First of all, I just want to go over quickly. I got a couple hats today. This is a Tony Hawk hat. Sweet rainbow uh, thing on there. I like trucker hats and vintage hats and things like that, but I got like a flat top of my head or something because all these hats, they do not fit me. Like they're so deep on my head that they look weird, which is too bad because I keep finding these awesome hats and they just don't work. Check, this is the other one I got up. The, uh, I don't know if you can read that. Is that in reverse? No, Hallmark, best, best dressed birds in town. And there's like little embroidered bird, like chicken there. So that's a sweet hat too. I'm into all these like vintage foam, catchy, corny hats but yeah so buck for that and like two bucks for that, that chicken hat so yeah those are on I, I've been trying Etsy and stuff too I haven't had much luck on it yet but I guess that's a good place to sell vintage kind of stuff people on there their prices are way higher than on eBay so yeah so let's go into my one bag sort of fell apart let's go into this bag so Salvation Army is a thrift store. My tell me of two major thrift stores. One's usually awesome, and Salvation Army is kind of hit or miss. I've never found this much good stuff at Salvation Army. This whole bag was two fifty of Ninja Turtles. In so I had a couple of these as a kid. Um, Ninja Turtles are sort of they were my '80s cartoon. Everybody has their one '80s cartoon they really loved. Like you love them all, but Ninja Turtles was the one. Like I was all about that. Sorry guys. All right, so what do we got here? So I had this one when I was a kid. This is Space Raphael, Astronaut Raphael. Now I know this one is missing some pieces because he's supposed to have like the Buzz Lightyear dome on his head. And I think here, coming out of here, there was like a pipe or something that came up. It was like, looked like a breathing tube or something like that. I can't remember. Or maybe it was something for weapons. But yeah, I used to go, we used to go to Target in the United States, cross the border, and get, I'd save my allowance and get a new Ninja Turtle every time we went down there on vacation. It was like a special treat, and um, I never got any bad guys because I never wanted to spend my money on any, any good guys. So all I had was like piles of turtles and other, I think I had the Rat King. I think he was my only bad guy. Uh, here we go. Raphael, this looks like not the original version here. How did I get this up there? But somebody put Donatello's belt on him, so that's the wrong belt. So I'll have to switch that out, and you can see his bow staff thing. But that one's got the mouth, so I think that came later. All right, 
here's an, this might be one of the more original Donatellos. I gotta look online to see what the faces were on the originals, but this one looks like I don't know if there was supposed to be a little hook on here, but it doesn't have the hook for his for his bow staff there. Donnie, I think, was my favorite. I don't know. Here's a smiling Raphael with one of his size. Oh, and it's got a squeezer. Oh, I think this one has something, it used to have something on the back and it like spun when you click this, maybe. It had like his weapon and it would spin if you hooked it in there, but I don't know what it was that went in there. So another Raph with the sigh. All right, Leo, he has the right belt on. Awesome, that same set. I wonder if these ones are the originals. I gotta check. Awesome. And another Leo. Is he the same? He's the same one, I think. Double Leo. Now now that I've grown up, Leo is like my favorite, I think. Leo is so badass. He was like the focus discipline one. When I was a kid, you like Michelangelo, right? It's all about Michelangelo. Look at him. He's just, he's a fun, rad dude. He's the funny one. It's like everybody, you want to be the funny one. Look at his tongue. It's going crazy. Somebody gave him a sigh, some fool, but his arm's almost coming off there. It's kind of loose. Look at the bicep on him, though. Used to always want to be Michelangelo. Looks like he's missing his belt. He's supposed to have a belt there, too. But then I grew up, and now I want to be the mature leader. I had this one, too. Yes, as a kid. This is the undercover Donnie. It's his 1990 on this. They always wore those tuxes. No, who could recognize that that's a turtle on there? I love in the 90s movie when he's running down the street and he rolls over the taxi cab. He's like, what the hell was that? Looked like a giant turtle in a trench coat. You're going to LaGuardia, right? Oh, and this is dope too. Man, I wish they had the weapons for these. But man, there's a uh, bloody samurai Leonardo. Looks like he had like a kendo stick or something maybe. Or maybe he had the two samurai swords because there's one there and one there. But that's cool, man. That's got some good detail on it and stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if I'm going to flip these or just make a big shelf or what. Because there's a pile of these. I, I'm not a toy collector type guy. Like I like it in this life. I like finding stuff like this. But I haven't really... I don't want to get into that. I, I spend enough on comics and things. Toys are... Just another another avenue I don't really want to delve into that much. Alright, so this is like a Beast Wars figure. So I forget the name of this guy. He was only in a few of them because he was the one who lived in the ice world. Or in the ice area. This The Beast Wars was like the only Transformers show I ever really watched. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't like the cartoon one that much. Because I only liked the, the planes. I was just like... I thought the cars were lame and I thought the planes would have just dominated. Anyone who could fly should have dominated all the ones who couldn't in my head. So I had a hard time getting around it. Okay, so this... Who wants to watch me transform this thing for an hour? There it is. A warrior. Clearly a warrior. Warrior mode. These guys, I wonder if they came with weapons and stuff. They probably did. A lot of the accessories are missing in the, these bags, I guess, but... Ah, oh, I can't remember this guy's name. I'm going to have to look it up. Is it on here somewhere? No, there's a few Beast Wars guys in here, though I saw them. Okay. This guy is like a werewolf. Oh, I don't... This guy's... He's vaguely familiar to me. Was this like... Uh, in the Ninja Turtles show... Did Vernon turn into like a werewolf at some point? Remember Vernon? He was like the little wiener who hung out with April O'Neil. Oh, that's pretty sweet though. I like some of these like more random guys. Okay, here's one I got. Maybe someone else knows what the hell this is. I have no clue who or what that is. It looks like Michael Myers from like the Halloween movies. That's serial killer. But I think he's supposed to be like, it's space mode Michael Myers. You guys know what that is, just send me a comment because I have no clue. No idea. 
And I remember this guy too vaguely, but I can't remember if he's from Ninja Turtles or some other... This isn't like the... He looks kind of like the Toxic Avenger, but I don't know if that's who it's supposed to be. It says Mirage, so it must be Mirage's Ninja Turtles. Some sort of swamp guy, and he's got the New York City sewer on his foot there. But yeah, man, this is like bringing these really deep memories I have not thought about in a long time. I tried to get into watching the old Ninja Turtles, and I just couldn't do it. I watched a few of them, and I couldn't couldn't get through them all. But yeah, this guy looks like he's missing some accessories, too. I think he's probably just supposed to have a hole going through him like he's a bunch of muck. What else? Oh, yes. The Samurai Panda. Awesome figure. Yeah, I don't know if this guy's like part of the Mutanimals. I think he did probably make an appearance in the cartoon show. He's got his weapon, so that's pretty sweet. That's badass. I like that. I like I like samurai stuff. It looks so cool. Alright. Space Cop. This is like... I have no idea, again, what the, who this space cop is. His uh, chest thing says A-P-E-S. Apes? Is this like some sort of Planet of the Apes space cop cartoon that came out, which is absolutely possible. That kind of stuff might have come out. Is that supposed to be Charlton Heston? Oh, here's a big one. I'm going to save that one for the end because that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's do that. Boom. Remember this guy, too? I do not remember his name. I think he was from like the, they go to the alternate dimension and they like fight in a wrestling match kind of thing. I think that's who this guy is. Is his name there? No, it says 91 Mirage again though, but yeah, definitely Ninja Turtles. But yeah, that's pretty dope. And this guy almost looks like Robocop, but he's also like a bug. <laughs> I have no clue what these are. They don't feel like they're the same sort of company that made the Ninja Turtle stuff. It feels totally different. So it's probably something else, but... Bug Cop? Oh, Bug Cop. Everyone knows Bug Cop. How could I forget Bug Cop? Obviously. All right, here we go. Bebop. Sweet. I just thought it was so weird how pumped Bebop and Rocksteady were to become these hideous monsters. Like, I guess it'd be cool to become tough. But, I think they're never going to get laid again. Looking like that, sorry. Awesome though, the 80s punk. Oh, so sweet. Some sort of bug Transformers guy. I don't know if that guy was... This guy must have been from Beast Wars, but I have no recollection of him. He's really small. That guy. White elf. Looks like He-Man almost, like a Skeletor type thing. Oh, and while I'm on He-Man, let me take a break real quick and show you this. It's going to look like not much. But, oh, where is it? Pick this up today off of Virage Sale. It's kind of like an, a Craigslist app type thing, local stuff. Boom. She-Ra Season 2 box set, which apparently is super rare. It's funny because I made a comment on this where they were selling Planet... Planet Earth and She-Ra. And I was like, what a combo! And I forgot about it. I just thought it was funny. So then she lowered the price, so it updated me because something I commented on had updated, the price was lowered. So I was like, oh yeah, that, that was funny. And then I was like, I'll look this up real quick, just see. Last one sold for 130 bucks. Oh, okay, maybe I'll open up to this because they were asking 15 for the pair. So I offered her 10 just for the uh, She-Ra and she took it. So. That's on eBay right now for like 130 bucks, so I'd be pumped if I got that. Okay, thanks for my rant. All right, Fugitoid. I should have picked out his, uh, I have his first appearance comic. It's like a magazine style Ninja Turtles comic. Uh, I think I got a couple of them actually downstairs. Couple of Fugitoid though, sweet design on that guy. I'm excited to like eBay all these guys and see if any of this stuff's worth anything, but my favorites I might, I think I'm just gonna hold on to. Pick a few of the turtles. Oh, and I forget this guy's name. I should know this guy's name. He's another. He's one of the Mutanimals. This one's 89. He's not Howard the Duck. He's a much cooler duck. Look at his cool jacket. Is he a pilot or something? 
forget. All right. Another Beast Wars. This is Waspinator, but he's missing his wings. So pretty lame Waspinator, but super easy to transform these guys. But they're kind of lame compared to all the early stuff. But he was a ridiculous character. <laughs> uh, another one. This, does anyone know what this guy is? He looks like kind of like a G.I. Joe or something, maybe. He's a little smaller. Kind of looks like Lex Luthor, too. Looks like something's broken on the front there as well. So, I don't know. I'm not holding out too much over something like that. This one, though. Boom. Uh, Slimer, rubber, Kenner guy. This is like a $25 toy. That pays for all these toys. Just if I sell this one, Slimer. And he's, in, he's pretty clean for a Slimer, I guess. Good shape. So yeah, that was pretty sweet to find that too. And of course, I myself as a Mountie, and this guy's name is Monty Moose, so as not to be sued by the RCMP. But yeah, awesome. <laughs> this is like, I see why these turtles were so popular. Like this is so, everything that was awesome with the comics in like the 60s and 70s, like, they just went for it. It's just so ridiculous and so campy and terrible, but it's awesome, man. All right, I think that's the main, uh, that'll be probably it for these toys. I got this random missile. No idea what that is. TB1. Oh, Thunderbirds. A Thunderbirds missile from, is there a year on there? Made in China, 1992. Matchbox. All right, Thunderbird Suite. Yeah, guys, so that's it. Those are the toys I picked up. Sorry uh, I don't have a ton of information on them. I'm not a huge toy guy, like I say. Uh, I did recently pick up an awesome, awesome comic book, which I will show off soon. Um, but I need to get a few more to actually make it worthwhile to do another, another uh, comic video because I just had one, so... That's it, guys, I think, for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys like these kind of videos that show off a bit more uh, non-comic stuff, stuff to flip, uh, picking, that kind of thing, let me know, because I do lots of this stuff, so I'm happy to make videos on this stuff, too. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Peace out. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Leave some comments below. Tell me all the dumb stuff I'm saying, and all of my just correct me on how dumb I am. Feel free, but try to be nice about it if you can. I know it's the internet. It's easy to be a jackass. Try to be nice. Okay, thanks, guys. I gotta go. Okay, bye.